In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a neon flickering mask with a little bit of parallax effect. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is crop out the main image. So I'm going to do that with the pencil. Just go here, select the pencil. Just go ahead and zoom in. And I'm just make a point here, point there, point there. Drag it up kind of like that. Same thing for that. If you'd like to use other method to crop out the main image, you can go ahead and do that. I like using the pencil. For me, it feels like I have more control over what I'm cropping out. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this part. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out. Just go here, close that out. Just right click, make a selection, feather at zero, click OK. Control J to make a copy. I'm just rename this main for our main image. I'm just go ahead and group this. So I'm gonna do Control G. Also rename this as main. Now let's go to the main image. Hold Control, select that. It will make a selection around the image. Go to Select, Modify, Expand. Let's do about. 10 pixel, click OK. And let's go down here to the background. Go to Edit, Generate a Fill, Generate. So I'm going to disable the main image for now. You can see it created three different images for us. So I'm going to pick the best one I like. Usually it's the first one. I think the first one's good. So I'm hold Shift. Select the background with that. Control E to merge it. Next, let's go ahead and create a copy of the main image. I'm going to name this one Lights Off. I'm going to do Control L, bring up the levels. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring the white down kind of like, kind of like that. Click OK. And I'm going to go to Image, Adjustment, Hue and Saturation. Bring that all the way down, click OK. Just go down here, select the mask. I'm going to invert it, so I'm going to select the mask, do Control I. I'm going to select B for brush, make sure that's white. And then hardness all the way down, size probably bring it up, maybe about 77. And just go ahead and paint that in, kind of like that. So when the neon light's not on, it's going to look like this. And then when it comes back on, it'll look like that. So I'm going to disable this one for now. Just go down here, create a new layer. And I'm going to select the mask kind of like that. So select a blue. Click OK. And I'll bring the size of the brush up. Hardness all the way down. Make sure... Bring the size of it down kind of like that. Paint that in like that. So I'm going to go up here, change the blending mode to color dodge. And I'm just name this blue glow. All right, so I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to do the same thing. P for brush. Bring the size of this down. And I'm just going to change this to color dodge for now. So we can see when we paint this in. So for this one, I'm going to paint around the uh, inside of the hood, kind of like that. I'm at E for the eraser. So you just go here, same thing, hardness all the way down. And we should delete or erase those area. So that's around the zoom in so that's around the hoodie that's the main one and let's go ahead and rename this blue glow hoodie so we know it's that one 
Right, so when we do the animation in After Effect, it'll look like that. So I'm going to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clean that part. We don't want that. So I'm going to hit E for the eraser. Bring the size of that down. All right, much better. All right, next, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to zoom in. B for brush. Paint that in so we don't see the blue. Kind of like that. Alright, I think that looks good. I'm just uh, right click, apply layer mask, zoom out, just make sure everything looks good. Alright, so I'm uh, just rename this background. So let's go ahead and save this on your desktop. Save it as a PSD on your desktop because we're going to bring it into After Effects and do the animation there. Alright, so once you have After Effects open, go to the project window. Just double click this. Make sure you go to desktop. And here's the PSD that I saved, Neon Mask. I'm just going to go ahead and open that. Make sure this one is checked. Click OK. Just go ahead and double click the composition and double click the main image and everything should be inside here so let's go ahead and right click new camera select the two node and just pause this video and just copy all the setting here and just click OK just click OK and I'm gonna go down here select that make sure that's 3d same thing here, just go inside here. All right, so if you're getting this weird looking thing like me, just go here, right click, composition setting, make sure the 3D render is set to classic, just click OK, and then that should fix it. All right, so now to animate the lights off, hit T for opacity, hold Alt, select that, all right, so let's type in wiggle. Let's do 50, 100. See how that looks. I like that. I think that's good. Let's go back to our main. And you can see there's still the thing. So we got to right-click composition setting. Change this to classic. Click OK. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna go down here to the background and hit P for position. Change this to 1500. Hit S for scale. Let's bring this back up. All right, so when you go up here, select this. And you can see the parallax effect. Just click undo. Just go to the camera. Make sure I'm at the frame number one. Let's create a keyframe here, there, and let's do the Z rotation. And I'm just going to go out about 10 second. Create a keyframe for those. Now let's go back to the first keyframe. All right, let's go up here, select this. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Kind of like that. Select this one. Drag it to the right. And let's rotate it about 17. And zoom back in. Let me see how it looks if it's uh, a little bit closer to the to the hoodie, kind of like that. I think I like that better. I think that looks good. Let's go right here. Let's create keyframes. And let's go page down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's bring this to there. So that way, zooming out slowly, when it gets there, just do fast. 
And let's go ahead and uh, enable the motion blur. Same thing for this, enable that. Double click the main. Enable the motion blur there. And I'm just bring back the keyframe. All right, look much better. Go ahead and save this. Now, what I like to do is when it zoom out, fast blur like that. And let's go ahead and uh, zoom back in slowly like that. So let's play this. Zoom out. Do a fast one like that. Slowly zoom in. I think that looks good. Let's go here. Let's right click. Easy in. Save that. So that's how you create the neon flicking lights with a little bit of parallax effect.